Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Lifecraft server. This is season two. Thank you so much for being here today. I am the Colonel. Last week, we completed this reed farm that's behind me, and it has been working really good. We've already been using the uh, reeds for paper, for trading paper and other things. So what have I done this week? I have been pretty busy. I've done a lot of mining. I mine for uh, ancient debris. I mine for diamonds. I had to uh, repair my pick quite a few times. And I started a big project. Well, I worked on a couple of projects actually. First off, I went and gathered a few sheep. I started this uh, row of grass. Bet you can't guess what I'm gonna do, can you? Can you? <laughs> well, it's not really that hard to guess. And I started a small tree farm. I just need the wood for this project and for others. But we've been growing a lot of wood. Let's get started. Man, that was fun. I hope you enjoyed it. And now, as you can see, uh, in the meantime, I've uh, expanded this tree farm. It just magically appeared, like you wouldn't believe. Anyway, uh, pretty much, uh, we needed more wood. Didn't have enough. So I made this uh, tree farm where it'll uh, all the drops will fall down. Of course, you have to still collect everything that falls on the dirt, but uh, no problem. 
it all gets collected on the end there. Overall, I tried to make it so that we could grow all the wood, all the different varieties, and have plenty of room for everything to grow. And, you know, of course, every sapling never truly grows. I mean, it, well, except for probably the oaks and the, and the birch, but some of them just don't grow. Here's our collection system. As you see, it just comes up and just collects in here. It's pretty simple right now. Might be more complex later on. All right, let's head on over to Spawn Town, where I have a shop idea that I want to work on. Build a new shop. And all the, the materials in this shop are, are straight from our sheep farm and also from our tree farm. And basically, I want to sell wool, the wool that we've been raising from the sheep. And so I'm going to try to make a little interesting shop here. And as with most things, I got my inspiration from someone else. I will uh, put that link in the description. But basically what I did was I got on the internet and of course used the Googles and did a search for the shape that I wanted to build. And uh, of course, if you've seen the thumbnail, you probably already know it's a teddy bear, teddy bear head. And I didn't follow the, it was actually in a tutorial that someone else did. I did not follow that tutorial. I just looked at the picture and tried to, to uh, kind of mimic it, but I didn't want it to be exact. I wanted it to be my own, but it does look very similar to this other guy. So I'm going to go ahead and put that link into the description if you want to check it out. And for my colors, I'm going to use brown. And for the mouth and ears, I'm going to use pink. And right now, I'm just trying to figure out this design layout. So I will probably try and speed this up just a little bit because I don't want you to hang out while I'm just trying to think of what to do here. I really do like how this shape is turning out. I'm going to just go ahead and put the other ear in. There we go. Take a look at it. Yeah, I like how that's looking so far. So I'm going to continue on with that. Work more on the face. I have to set out my shulker boxes here in a second so that I can just uh, start getting all my wool together that I need. I need some black for the eyes and nose. So I need to get that out. Yeah, this season I really do want to push my building skills, push myself to build more complex shapes. And so that's kind of what I'm doing here, even though. I still take a lot of inspiration from others. I, I don't think I'll ever stop doing that. But yeah, look how that looks. I really like that. That is that is looking nice. Yeah. That is looking real nice. All right, let's put some stuff away. Get stuff organized. I'm put this black away here. I have a little bit more to do on this thing. I have some stuff to do on the back still. Yeah. I want to fill that in. My only thoughts at this point were that uh, I was thinking about building this thing big enough to walk in, but I don't think that's really necessary at this point. Just gonna go ahead and fill this in, kind of shape out the back a little better. Make it more look more like a head. And I'm gonna take my cues from the front of the thing, so. Yeah. Just trying to figure it out. 
figure out how I need to shape this thing in the back so it looks natural. Well, at least teddy bear natural. Yeah. I'm going to make it a little bit thicker here. Possibly fill out the sides there a little bit more. I really do like the way that's looking. That is looking good. So yeah, I don't quite like this part. Let's add a little more wool there. We do that on the other side probably. So it matches up. And the back of the head is still looking pretty flat. So probably add one more layer. One more layer to the back, probably. There we go. Let's get all that placed in there. There we go. Yeah, I like the way that looks in the back a lot better now. Yeah, that is very nice. Very nice. Well, I think I'm done with the build of the bear. I think it looks really good. Why don't you tell me how what you think about it? What could I do to make it better? I think it looks really good, though. But there's always room for improvement, right? We'll take another look around. Yeah, I really like how that looks, even in the back. All righty, well, let me uh, go ahead and prepare this place for a store. I'll be right back when I get it done. All right, look at there. I got the chest all in with the wool. I need to bring a little bit more brown, a little more pink, and I have all the colors there. And so I'm selling every thing, one diamond in a stack. Yeah, so uh called the name of the store Wooly Bears. Thought that was kind of cool, cool name for the shop. I didn't want to make a sheep head. You know, I've seen a lot of sheep heads for wool shops. But I want to do something a little bit different, and so I thought this would be pretty cool. I really do like it. So, yeah. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Well, now, that's about all the time we have for today. I appreciate you stopping by. appreciate you hanging around and sticking it through to the end. I just appreciate you being here. Uh, please leave a like. Please uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the other life crafters. They're doing lots of neat and cool stuff. Well worth your time and effort and watching. I just uh, ask that you check them out. And uh, Truck Pipe and I are going to be doing lots of things together in the future. He has been busy doing his some of his own projects and we're going to be working together as well on that but uh yeah so but that's about all the time i have for you today please check back next time bye <laughs>